Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for April 15th, read by Buddy C. from Atlanta, Georgia. AA Thoughts for the Day Intoxication As newcomers, many of us have indulged in spiritual intoxication. Like a prospector belt drawn and over the last ounce of food, we saw our pick strike gold. Joy at our release from a lifetime of frustration knew no bounds. The newcomer feels he has struck something better than gold. He may not see it at once that he has barely scratched a limitless load, which will pay dividends only if he mines it for the rest of his life and insists on giving away the entire product. Alcoholics Anonymous, pages 128 and 129. Thought to consider. We give it away to keep it. Acronym. Think. The happiness I never knew. Just for today. Excuses. Step four. Made a searching and fearless moral inventory of ourselves. The majority of AA members have suffered severely from self-justification during their drinking days. For most of us, self-justification was the maker of excuses. Excuses, of course, for drinking and for all kinds of crazy and damaging conduct. We had made the invention of alibis a fine art. We had to drink because times were hard or times were good. We had to drink because at home we were smothered with love or got none at all. We had to drink because at work we were great successes or dismal failures. We had to drink because our nation had won a war or lost a peace. And so it went on at infinitum. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, pages 46 and 47. Daily Reflections, The Bondage of Resentments Harboring resentment is infinitely grave, for then we shut ourselves off from the sunlight of the Spirit. As Bill sees it, page 5. It's been said anger is a luxury I cannot afford. Does this suggest I ignore this human emotion? I believe not. Before I learned of the AA program, I was a slave to the behavior patterns of alcoholism. I was chained to negativity with no hope of cutting loose. The steps offered me an alternative. Step 4 was the beginning of the end of my bondage. The process of letting go started with an inventory. I needed not be frightened, for the previous steps assured me I was not alone. My higher power led me to this door and gave me the gift of choice. Today I can choose to open the door to freedom and rejoice in the sunlight of the steps as they cleanse the spirit within me. As Bill sees it, move ahead. To spend too much time on any one alcoholic is to deny some other an opportunity to live and be happy. One of my fellowship failed entirely with his first half dozen prospects. He often says that if he had continued to work with them, he might have deprived many others who have since recovered of their chance. Alcox Anonymous, page 96. Our chief responsibility to the newcomer is an adequate presentation of the program. If he does nothing or argues, we do nothing but maintain our own sobriety. If he starts to move ahead, even a little, with an open mind, we then break our necks to help in every way we can. That's a letter from 1942. Big Book Quote When we decide who is to hear our story, we waste no time. We have a written inventory and we're prepared for a long talk. We explain to our partner what we're about to do and why we have to do it. He should realize that we're engaged upon a life and death errand. Most people approached in this way will be glad to help. They will be honored by our confidence. I call Anonymous into action, page 75. 24 hours a day. A A thought for the day. Terrible things could have happened to any one of us. We never will know what might have happened to us when we were drunk. We usually thought, that couldn't happen to me. But any one of us could have killed somebody 
or have been killed ourselves, if we were drunk enough. But fear of these things never kept us from drinking. Do I believe that in AA we have something more effective than fear? Meditation for the day. I must keep calm and unmoved in the vicissitudes of life. I must go back into the silence of communion with God to recover this calm when it's lost even for one moment. I will accomplish more by this calmness than by all the activities of a long day. At all costs, I will keep calm. I can solve nothing when I am agitated. I should keep away from things that are upsetting emotionally. I should run on an even keel and not get tipped over my emotional upsets. I should seek for things that are calm and good and true and stick to those things. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may not argue nor contend, but nearly state calmly what I believe to be true. I pray that I may keep myself in that state of calmness that comes from faith in God's purpose for the world. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Buddy. And I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.